So I've started a project for a client using my new GH5 and uh, I've actually come to the conclusion that it's very difficult to import the footage because Premiere keeps crashing. So I'm going to show you today how to import that footage through After Effects. Um, there's other ways of doing it. Um, I haven't actually tried like using proxy settings and I'm assuming those work well but I couldn't really find a really good tutorial to be able to uh, implement that effectively and I could probably play around with it more but <clears throat> the solution that I have for you today is I think the most effective and uh, the reason why I like it is because you import through After Effects that seems to take the footage well and then uh, through dynamic linking you can import it directly into Premiere and I'll show you how to do that today so I'm going to share my screen with you and um, unfortunately I don't have my microphone set up uh, very effectively but I'm going to uh, show you here I've started a new project in Premiere and of course it's my uh, second time through um, everything that I'm just gonna leave and as is I like to set my scratch disk stuff like that now I was playing with this earlier uh, to create proxies but I didn't actually see a proxy in here that uh, I could actually use. Now I can create one um, as soon as I get my project set up. So uh, maybe that's something I'll do a little bit later. But I'm just going to say OK. Um, I've got my new project set up here. Um, I'm going to go into After Effects as well and pull that up so that I can ingest all my footage through After Effects and in dynamic linking. Here's my After Effects and I'm going to import all of my footage, so multiple files. Um, so here's the sheet that I did for Pedicab. I'm going to get my 10-bit and import that here, here. So I'm going to save this and save as, and I'm going to save it in my Coastal Pedicabs and my After Effects folder, and uh, I'm going to literally call it the same folder. So uh, I think this was 4 2017. Okay, so there's one last step here that's really important. Um, in order to pull that in, you actually have to create um, compositions for all of your clips. So I've done that here. I'm going to save that. Okay, so once I have all that set up, I'm going to click on the After Effects project that I want to import. And you can see it's connected. And I'm actually going to import those compositions, not just the footage. And you can see all of the compositions here. Now I'm going to select the first one all the way down. And I'm actually going to just drag it over to my project file uh, folder. Awesome. And as you can see over here in this window, uh, all my footage is showing up uh, as its original codec from the After Effects file and it's generating those thumbnails for each one of those pieces of footage. Excellent, so happy that I found a way to do that. Um, if you guys find uh, a better or a more effective way, please let me know uh, in the comments below and I hope this helped. Uh, Get out there shooting. The GH5 is a, a great piece of equipment, and uh, despite Premiere's inability to make an effective import for it, uh, maybe that'll be solved in the future, but this is actually a more effective workaround for me, especially since I can get into After Effects and edit some of the finer details of that footage. So, have a great day, and uh, talk to you soon.